Hey guys, this is Max Power, and today we're going to have a look at how to record a separate voice audio stream uh, when using Shadowplay to record games. One of the biggest problems that Shadowplay has for me is its inability to record a separate audio stream for the microphone uh, so we can manually adjust the volume up and down, etc., for voiceovers in games, uh, let's play videos, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, now, there is a way we can do it. It's not just using Shadowplay itself, it's a bit of a workaround, but it does work and it works reasonably well. Uh, and it's fairly easy. And it uses another free program, which is even better. Uh, so let's have a look how to do it. The first thing you need to do is get Audacity. It's a free audio editing program and you can get it from audacity.sourceforge.net. Uh, just download it and install it. Okay, so once you've got it installed, it's fairly easy to use. Basically, the main things you need to have set is um, make sure you've got the correct microphone selected um, in your microphone setting here and make sure you have, well, the speakers don't really matter as long as you can hear what you're playing back and set your microphone volume here. Now this is gonna depend on your microphone setup so um, you might have to do some, some playing around with the correct volume there to make sure you don't get a lot of background noise. But basically you can see that if I record this, testing one, two, three, this is max power, how are you going? Uh, you can see that has recorded that there and just hit play to show that. Testing one, two, three, this is max power, how are you going? Okay, so that's what we want to do. I'll just delete that, don't need to keep that. The next thing we need to do um, is make sure our shadow play is set up correctly. So we go into our um, NVIDIA settings. So to make sure shadow play is set up correctly, there's a couple of things we need to do. Firstly, it's to make sure that shadow play is turned on and obviously that it's set up correctly. Now this it will be covered in another video maybe or look it up somewhere else, but basically make sure your video recording is working and make sure that you're recording your in-game and microphone audio. The next setting we need to make sure is that it's uh, the microphone is not set to always on, it's set to push to talk. And the other setting that we need is to make sure that you know your activate push to talk key. So this is it here for me. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is make sure our game started. I'm just using uh, Rogue Legacy for this. The first thing we wanna do is start recording in Audacity. So hit record and you can see that's recording my voice right now. Go back into the game and hit your shortcut key to get shadow play recording. So you can see just up in the top left corner that shadow play is now recording. Um, I can't actually activate my mouse on this game. But anyway, um, next thing you want to do is set some sync pulses, which we're going to do um, by holding down our push to talk key, which you will see uh, the little microphone symbol comes up and I'll let it go, it goes away. So we're gonna hold down our push to talk key and you can either clap or hit the desk or something, but we wanna do it three distinct times to get three distinct audio pulses. So we're gonna do that now. So that's got our pulses on. Now all you gotta do is go ahead and play the game um, like you usually would. So we can just see here that I'm talking, the voice sound, I mean the game sound is going. I'm not gonna go into the game too much. But anyway, that's uh, that's the gist of it. So we'll stop that recording. Wait for it to finish downloading. Next thing, we can go back and stop our recording in Audacity. So then if we scroll back, we can see here that our sync pulses are three clearly defined uh, marks that we can use to line up our audio after. Uh, so the next thing to do is to go into your video editing program. I'm using Adobe Premiere. And we want to import our um, video capture, which will be this file. And then we want to go to Audacity and export our audio file. So we go file, export. So this is um, Rogue Legacy. Save it as a WAV file. Save that. Okay. Go back into your video editing program. I'm just going to call it Premiere for now. And import your audio file. So the first thing you want to do is, imp is drag your video to the sequence. The audio for the microphone is going to be a bit uh, longer. Then we drag this in. Next we want to double click the audio uh, lines, audio time timelines, and we can see here, see these three distinct pulses? This is the, the sync pulses we're going to use to make sure that our game audio is lined up with our microphone audio. Uh, so what we're going to do is simply line these up until it's pretty close. Now that's, look, that's close enough. That's pretty much spot on actually. So if you were then to play the 
sound back. And as you can see, that's um, literally synced it up. Now it's just a matter of uh, editing your video as you usually would. So it's a simple case of making the voiceover louder if you want to, or softer, or the in-game sounds louder or softer. Uh, and basically, that's all you need to do to create a separate audio track using Shadowplay. I know it's a bit of a workaround, uh, but it'll do for now. I'm sure it's a feature they're gonna add fairly soon because it's, look, it's one that's required. Um, but yeah, look, if you've got any questions, post in the comments, be sure to give me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks.